بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم today uh, the our course our course uh, name is analysis of algorithm this is our week number 4 lecture 1 for bs sc 6 semester in this lecture we will discuss what is recursion and then uh, we will discuss the merge sort algorithm and uh, then we will analyze the running time of merge sort algorithm so the topic of the lecture are what is the recursion divide and conquer strategy merge sort algorithm seed and floor functions analysis of merge sort using seed and floor method these are the topic which we have uh, to cover in this lecture. The first, what is recursion? Recursion is the process in which an operation repeats itself again and again from the body of itself. Meaning that a function which calls itself from its own body again and again this process is called recursion it is the alternate of a loop sometimes we process uh, some set of statements uh, through the body of a loop uh, for a specified number of times uh, while in recursive algorithm, we also uh, perform recursion operation until the process uh, is completed. Some problems are recursive in nature, so only those problems which are recursive in nature could be solved through recursion. Because recursion is a technique, so every problem cannot be solved with recursion. Re through recursion method, only the recursive problem which are recursive in nature those problem will be solved for example the fibonacci number generation what is fibonacci number generation one and two these are the two uh, feeding values or the base values and in fibonacci number we add the previous two values and generate or produce the next value that's what 1 plus 1 equal to 2 now 1 plus 2 equal to 3 and now 2 plus 3 equal to 5 we have generated 5 now 3 plus 5 we have generated 8 5 plus 8 we have generated 13 and so on this process initiate uh, or generate the next number from itself uh, by repeating the same process that is the process of addition of previous two terms each next number is the sum of the previous two numbers all recursive problems could also be solved through loops it means every kind of recursive problem can be solved through loops but all loops problem cannot be solved through recursion the reverse is not true that is every problem which is solved through loops cannot be solved through recursion but recursive problems can be solved through loops and today we have to analyze the merge sort merge sort uses divide and conquer strategy and in this strategy firstly we take the problem our problem is an array of eight element and this array is unsorted we have to sort this array because 7, 5, 2, 4 random numbers are there, there in this array of 8 elements. We have to sort it. So, using merge sort algorithm, firstly we will uh, divide this array into two equal parts. 
the seven five two four are divided into a one subarray and one six three zero are divided into second subarray and then same operation of division is performed in this subarray. This there are four elements and we will divide into two seven five one array and two four second array. Similarly, the second part of this subarray will also be subdivided into two parts, one and six into one and three and zero into second array. We will store it. Again, this process will repeat, and this is called recursion. Repetition of same process again and again uh, until a until a specific limit is reached. This is called recursion. Seven and five. This is two element array, and we subdivide it into two parts: seven in one array and five in second array. Now these are one element array or the atomic array. Two four is also subdivided into two parts: two and four, one six. Three. Now here, this is the situation where we can say that we have so many arrays. That is eight arrays. Here we have single array. At this level, we have two arrays. At this level, we have eight array, uh, four arrays. And at the fourth level, we have eight array. But each array contains a single element. When an array contains single element, that array is called sorted array. Now we have more than one arrays, but all the arrays are sorted. This strategy is called divide and conquer strategy, where we divide the big problem. This was the big problem that is, eight element array is unsorted and we have to sort it. But when I divide it into a subarray and then again subarrays, at last I reach at a point where the where I got the atomic array and all the array were sorted. Now from here onward, we will apply the merging operation. And the merging operation actually uh, uh, merge two sorted arrays. If seven uh, seven uh, this array contains an element seven uh, single element which is sorted and uh, other element five, so merge operation will merge in these two elements into again two two element array. These element will be merged into other two elements, and similarly, uh, we will see the merging operation in the next slide. Here you may see seven and five are merged, but five is less than seven, so five will come first, and seven will come next. Here two and four will merge, two will come first, and four will come second. And here, when we will merge one and six, these are two. Uh, single element arrays and sorted arrays. So merging operation perform on sorted array. One is less than six, so one will come first, and six, six, six will come later. Second, here three and zero. Zero is less than three. Zero will come first. Three is second. And similarly, these two array will be merged into this one, and these two will merge into this one, and these two sorted array. Two, four, five, seven. This this is sorted subarray. And this is another sorted subarray. We will merge them into an eight element array. And now this this eight element array is is in sorted form. There are eight elements in array, but all the elements are in ascending order or in sorted order. This second level and first level operation we will uh, revise this uh, operation uh, in uh, next few. Slides again. Uh, here you have to see that the merging. What is merging? First, we divide a, a big problem into sub problem, and until a, a stage reach where the problem uh, uh, becomes solved, and then we perform the merging operation. This strategy is called divide and conquer strategy. That is, divide the bigger problem into very sub problems, and then uh, merge them. And collect them to uh, to achieve the solution. This is the solution that is our uh, array has been sorted uh, in sorted form.
Mars art algorithm. What is Mars art algorithm? Here, Mars art algorithm is Mars art. The requirement of Mars art algorithm is an array A. We have an array A. A of 1, A of 2, A of 3, A of 8 element. 8 element array with values 7, 5, 2, 4, 1, 6, 3, 0. We have already discussed these values in our previous slides. You may see here 7, 5, 2, 4, 1, 6, 3, 0. This array, we named this array as uh, with a, this is a array. So, we pass this 8 element array to this uh, variable a. Uh, it will store here. We will also pass the initial index 1 to P and final index 8 to R. These two values will also be passed. We will pass this array to A and we will pass 1 to P and R that is last index to R. So, P is equal to 1 and R is equal to 8. We have an A array and these two integer variable with value 1 and 8, initial index and final index. Here we check if we pass this MARSART a single element array that is only one element exists in the array then its initial index will be 1 and the final index will be 1. R will be 1 and P will be 1. Here the condition will not true. That is 1 is not less than 1. So the process will stop process will not proceed again uh, forward, uh, will not proceed forward. But in this case, P is 1 and R is 8, P less than R, 1 less than 8, yes. Then this operation will be performed that we can divide this bigger array into subarray. Before dividing, what we do? We actually add P and R, P plus R, 1 plus 8 is equal to 9, 9 divided by 2, 9. P and R both are integer, uh, 1 and 8 are integer and when we add the result will be 9, that will also be integer, integer divided by integer, 9 divided by 2, it becomes 4.5, but computer will uh, place there only the 4 integer value and this integer value will be assigned to Q. We see in next slide here that is Q become 4 by this process. Now Q has been become 4. We recall or we uh, call the Mars sort algorithm at line number 4 and line number and line number 5. This is our Mars sort algorithm and this Mars we are calling this Mars sort algorithm within the body of it's uh, um, within its body we are calling here Marsat and again at line number 5 we are calling Marsat algorithm within its body. So this is called recursion. The control will transfer to this place again. From here the control will transfer to this place. This is called recursion. Then it will come down and then will go up and this process will uh, continue until we got the unit array. Uh, now here, uh, what the computer do? It call the MARSART and send a subarray of four element. How? Q is equal to four. Here, computer divide this array, A array, into two subsections. A, the value of P is one. The value of Q is four. P is one. Four. Uh, Q is four. 1 to 4, 1 index number 1 to index number 4. This subsection is passed to this MARSART from this location. And the second subsection is passed from next LAN number 5 location. Here, what computer did? MARSART A, this A, whole array is passed to this MARSART, but the, but it is also instructed that uh, algorithm has to consider only the second part. How? 
Q, the value of Q is 5, 4, 4 plus 1 becomes 5, 5 is passed to P and R is 8, 8 is passed to this R, 5 to 8, 5 to 8, this index number 5, this is 8, index number 5 to 8, this is the second section. We have divided this whole subarray into two sections. In line number 5, we are sending first section. In line number, at line number, uh, at line number 4, we are sending the first section of four elements. And at line number 5, we are sending the second section of four elements to this merge sort algorithm. Now it will, now the eight element array have been divided into four, four elements. Next time, when we, when merge sort will call it again and from line number 5, it will call it again, then it will send it the two two element array. It will divide this subarray into two element and this this uh, seven five and two four. And from here, computer will uh, send this one, and it will also divide it into two part. Uh, as we have seen here. The whole array is divided into these four parts, and then this four section is sent again to Marsha, and this two subarrays we got it uh, to these two subarrays, and this subsection is passed to Marsha, and we got it, these two subarrays, and again we call Marsha, and we get the unit array. This is the Marsha algorithm. And line number six, after. Dividing it again and again at unit level, then merger start the merging process. At unit level, the all the array have been in sorted form, so merging operation is performed on the sorted arrays. So merge, uh, merge is an, a sub algorithm. This is merge sub algorithm, which the previous algorithm is calling here at line number 6 the algorithm is calling to that sub algorithm and passing array A a full array P Q R now it is passing the initial value P the final value R and Q that is 4 here a, P, Q, and R. These are the variables which receives those values. At line number 1, this algorithm uh, reserves another array with name B uh, from index number P to R. P is 1 and R is 8. So, computer reserves an 8 element array from index number 1 to index number uh, 8. The computer also reserves three uh, i, j, and k. These are three loop variables which computer uh, in the, uh, computer declare here in this algorithm. Firstly, it declare an array of eight elements. Name of that array is b, and secondly, it uh, declares i, k, and j, three loop control variable. i and k is given the value of p, p is 1, i will be 1, and k will be 1. And j is given the value of q plus 1. q is 4, and 4 plus 1 is equal to 5. j is given the value of 5. i is given the value of 1, because p is 1. And j is given the value of q plus 1, that is 4 plus 1 is equal to 5. J has value 5, I has value 1, K has also value 1. Here, at line number 2, you may see the while loop. While loop checks two conditions, I less than or equal to Q. This is actually the limit of first half of the array. And also it is checking J less than or equal to R. J will start from 5 because here we are initializing J at 5 from 5 less than or equal to 8. This is second subarray. This is first subarray from 1 to 
Q, Q is 4. 1 to 4, sub, first sub array and uh, 5 to 8, second sub array. So, the uh, value of i is 1, 1 is less than 4. So, condition will be true and here j is less than 8. J is, the value of j is 4, 5, 5 is less than 8. Both the condition will be true. The value execute 3, 4 and 5 are the statements uh, which are in the body of this while loop. There is another while loop where i less than or equal to q and only in the body of this while loop, this body uh, while loop contains a single statement in its body. At line number 8, uh, you, you may see another while loop whose control variable is j. The control variable of this while loop is i, the control variable of this while loop is j and the control variable of uh, for loop is also i. Uh, here j less than or equal to r, here we are using some elements, not the all elements but some elements of first sub array, here we are using the sub some elements, maybe sometimes all but some other time there may be less than all elements in if in second portion there are four elements we will uh, use uh, may, we, we may use for all four elements are two three four uh, one uh, so many elements these two array will control the first and second subsection but those section these two loop will not uh, use or process the full first subsection and second subsection but instead it will uh, use only the part of the first subsection and the part of second subsection with this loop. For loop actually copies the B element into A. Actually in these three loops while loop 1, while loop 2, while loop 3 he process the elements and store in the B location. This is B, this is B. We assign the values to B. Here we are also assigning to value B. Uh, here we are also assigning to value B array. Then at the end we copy all the elements which have been sorted in B array into uh, back into the A array through this for loop. Uh, these are for non nested loops. Non nested loop means this while loop is separate from this and this is separate from this and this is separate from this. No loop is nested in another loop. All the loops are non nested loops. So if this loop executed n time then this will also and let this is executed n by 2 or n time and this is executed n by 4 or n time and this executed n times, we will add all these values because single loop takes uh, running time. The running time of single loop is, uh, uh, we can say a linear and in linear, we take only the n asymptotic running time or the short running time, we take its n. Why? In linear equation, there are two terms and we take only one term. So, we consider it that if the, it is a single loop, its running time will be linear and we will consider it, it as n, n, n by 2, n by 4, n by etc, etc. You have uh, an overview of this merge sort algorithm where we are using the loops from line number 2 to line number 11. There are four loops. What these loops do, before going into the detail of this loop, uh, we understand that how the values are stored in this B array and what is i, k and what is j and p, q and r and how these operations are performed. In our next slide we see this. This is the original array, A array with two subparts and these two subparts have been sorted. Actually we are discussing 
the last uh, operation or the last process uh, last phase of merging here you may see this is the merging process we are not processing this one we are not processing this one you will we are processing this stage if you will understand if you try to understand this section then you will automatically try to understand this section this section this section this section and also these two array will be merged into this one these two will be merged into this one as these two will are merged into this one look at this operation all other operation are like this so here you may see that we have two sub arrays and we are going to merge them into a, a bigger B array. B array has eight locations. Its starting location is equal to K because in previous algorithm we have assigned the K a value of 1. You may see here we are assigning I and K the value of P. P uh, the value of P is 1. 1 is assigned to K and this one is also assigned to I. So I and K uh, have same values uh, 1 which is the value of P. So here K is equal to 1 and K will increment itself. In previous algorithm you may see always K increment it at different location. Here you may see K is incrementing whenever K, man, whenever we use the K, K increment itself and then process the value. So, K, initial value of K is 1 and it will uh, reach uh, at the last, uh, at its last value K is equal to 8 by incrementing. Here, this subarray has value I is equal to 1 because we have assigned K and i the same value 1 so the starting index of this subarray is i is equal to 1 the last value is q is equal to 5 and this is j uh, whose value is 5 how uh, this 5 is generated actually we have given the value we have assigned the value uh, q plus 1 to j q is 4 4 plus 1 is equal to 5 we are assigning the value 5 to j. You may see here in this algorithm, j is equal to q plus 1, q is 4, 4 plus 1 is equal to 5. We are assigning the value 5. This value is 5, is the initial value of this subarray, and its final value is there in R. We have passed this value R to, uh, R to it. So, this subarray and this subarray, we are going to merge it. So, this uh, i is equal to 1 and j is equal to 5 will compare Four, 2 and 1 will uh, 0 will compare which one is smaller 0 is smaller we will uh, store 0 in the k location of b k is 1 b of 1 here we will store 0 and because we have uh, stored the value from this subsection into the B array, so J will increment from 5 to 6 and it will represent this one. Firstly, it was, it was represented this location 0. Now it has incremented and it is representing uh, this location 6 and at location 6, 1 is stored here. We will increment the control variable of that subarray whose value will be stored in B. So, we have incremented this one while uh, this i is equal to 1 uh, remains at its previous location 1, 1, a of 1. So, now we will compare 2 and 1 because j is at 6 location. So, i and j will represent those values which we have to compare. 2 and 1 will compare, 1 is less than 2, so 1 will be stored here. K has been incremented. I have already seen in the algorithm that whenever we store a value in the B array, K increment itself. K has reached here. 
Here location 2. So this one is less than 2. 1 will be stored at this array uh, in, in B array and K will be implemented at location 3. K is equal to 3 and uh, this is uh, this is the three location of B array. Now the next value will be stored here because we have stored one in B array. So this J will increment it from six to seven. Now J is uh, representing this location, uh, the value three. J is representing the value three. I is representing the value two. Two is less than three. So two will be stored in B array. Add location k, k bus 3 is there and k i will increment itself and i will become 2. So now i is at location 2, the value is uh, here is 4, the j is at location 7 and the value is here 3. 4 and 3 will compare and 3 is less than 4, so 3 will be uh, stored at k location in b and this j will increment itself and it will uh, it will uh, point to this at location of array. j is here at uh, at location 8 and representing element 6 while uh, this i is at location 2 and representing 4. Now 4 and 6 will compare. 4 is less than 6. 4 will be stored at k location in b and uh, k will increment itself and will come at this location for next value of b i has stored in b location i will increment itself and i will represent a point to this location uh, a value 5 and now 5 and 6 will compare 5 is less than 6 5 will be stored here at k location k increment itself and it will go to 7 location and I will also increment itself and it will go to this 4 location, add location 4, the value is 7, add location 8, the value is 6, 7 and 6 will compare, 6 is less than 6, 7, so 6 will be stored at k location of b, so and the k will increment add, uh, to 8, from 7 to 8, now this is the last value of k, here, this array has been finished now only the value 7 is remaining so we are we cannot compare the next value of this subarray here the first while loop uh, finishes work and computer check this second and third while loop in second while loop because the i is 4 4 is not less than 4, but 4 is equal to 4. So, computer will uh, get the value from A, A of 4 location and will store B of 8 location. It means it will copy the remaining element to B location and then it will check to this while loop. The J has been uh, got its value 8, R is also 8, is J. And, uh, j has incremented to 9. 9 is less than 8? No. Equal to 8? No. This value will not execute. So the final value of uh, this subrace, this 7, is copied at this location through this value. This uh, number 6, this value copied the value 7 at uh, the final uh, B location of array. Uh, well, the j J subarray has been finished uh, there. Now, from uh, this for loop, computer will get i is equal to 1, because p is 1, and will go up to r that is 8, 1 to 8, and it will copy b of 1 into a of 1, b of 2 into a of 2, b of 3 into a of 3. This is the merge sort algorithm, and we have uh, try to understand that uh, algorithm through this uh, this slide onward here analysis of Marshall we have seen the Marshall algorithm 
and then the sub algorithm merge only now uh, we analyze the merge sort algorithm first consider the running time of the procedure merge merge was the large algorithm and we analyze it and see what is the running time of this algorithm here we have been seen four uh, four loops which are non nested if they are non nested then their uh, all the uh, running time of four loops will be added and will become linear because single loop has linear running time all loops four loops have linear running time running time is linear and linear will be when added its final result will also become linear we see in next slide there first consider the running time of the procedure merge a p q r let n is equal to r minus p plus 1 r is 8 p is 1 8 minus 1 7 7 plus 1 8 the value of n is 8 it means there are 8 elements in an array denote the total length of both left and right subarray that is sorted pieces these denote the total uh, length of both left and right in left subarray there were four elements in right there were another four elements four plus four is equal to eight here n is equal to eight means there are eight elements in both the arrays the merge procedure contains four loops non nested in order we have already discussed that there are four non nested loops three are while loops and the uh, last one is the for loop each loop can be executed at most n time let each loops execute n times but it is not true some loops will execute n time uh, for example the for loop will execute n time but the rest of the loops the first while loop will execute uh, uh, a little bit more than the uh, middle two loops while loops thus the running time of the merge sort is theta of n how this theta of n we have got we see in next slide here that is first loop executed let's suppose n over four times second loop executed n over two times third loop executed n times fourth loop executed two n times let's suppose then we will sum the running time of all four loops so total time become n over 4 plus n over 2 plus n plus 2n so lcm is 4 4 uh, ones are 4 and this one will be multiplied with this n and here we will got n now at this term 2 will be divided at 4 2 2 are 4 this 2 will be multiplied into n 2 into n is equal to 2n this term second term will become 2n here denominator is 1 n divided by 1 1 is divided at this 4 1 4 the 4 this 4 will be multiplied with n and here the third term will become 4n and here also the denominator denominator is 1 the term which has no denominator denominator as denominator is 1 this 1 will be divided here 4 times this 4 will be multiplied with this 2 4 to the 8 8 and this is 8 and divided by the lc when we add this term 8 plus 4 8 and plus 4 and 12 and plus 2 and uh, 14 and plus 1 and 15 and divided by 4 and we will uh, write the constant in one set 15 by 4 into n and we denote it only with the value n this is variable and we ignore the this coefficient value 15 by 4 so asymptotically we take our meaningful term that is n theta of n we got the merge sort algorithm merge algorithm merge algorithm theta of n in this you have seen the analysis in this set if merge algorithm takes uh, linear running time is executed in linear uh, running time then what is the total time of the algorithm because we have two algorithms not only merge but merge sort 
this merge sort is also an algorithm which takes some kind of time and here the merge also takes some time merge takes n uh, theta of n time while the remaining time we will also consider and uh, see it here uh, in the next slide you will see the value of analysis in the next uh, slide here We have seen this analysis. Analysis of marks are using seal and floor function. What are seal and floor function? Firstly, we understand what is seal and floor function notation and its results. Uh, you may see here this is a square bracket. When we divide this square trap, uh, bracket from middle, it is divided into two halves the upper portion and the lower portion. This is the upper portion and this is the lower portion. This upper portion is the notation of a seal function. Notation used for seal function. This is this notation is used for seal function while this lower part of this square array. This notation is used for floor function. Here in Mozart we will use these two notations. Uh, how this two notation words and how seal and floor function words. Let's suppose there are nine elements in an array and we want to divide them to equal subarray but we cannot divide the nine into two equal part that is uh, as we divide the eight let's suppose here if n is equal to eight we can easily divide into two equal part eight eight divided by two is equal to four and then eight eight divided by two is equal to four 2 equal 4 4 elements sub array. We can divide it in equal part. But we cannot divide the 9 into equal part. Instead, we will use seal and floor function 9 divided by 2. The value becomes 4.5. Here we are using seal function. Here again we are using seal function until and unless it, it returns a uh, an integer value. Uh, and similarly, we are using floor function here uh, in this section and we are getting this value 4. How this value 4 comes? Actually, 9 divided by 2 becomes 4.5. 9 divided by 2 becomes 4.5. This 4.5 is the location of this. We have some values 1, 1.5 at the distance of 0.5. When we add 1.5 here, we got 2. When we add 0.5 here, we got 2.5. And 3, 3.5, 4, 4.5, 5, 5.5, and 6, and so on. Here, the uh, value 9 divided by 2 becomes 4.5. 4.5 is this location. Let's suppose I am standing in a room. Then, below, uh, below the foot, below my foot, there will be the floor and uh, above my head there will be the seal. So this is seal and this is floor of 4.5 because we are getting here 4.5 and the function notation is seal. So we will get from 4.5 to this seal value and here we are getting 9 divided by 2 is equal to 4.5 but the function is floor. So 4.5 the floor of 4.5 is this 4 value. So, we will got from floor, floor function will got 4. So, an odd number of values in an array will be divided into not exactly the equal part, but the one subarray will contains one more element than the second. One subarray will contain 4 elements while the other will contain 5 elements, one more than the lesser one 
and this is the procedure of a seal and floor function. Now, we try to understand our, uh, uh, we try to under, uh, an analyze the Mercer algorithm and firstly we will construct the recurrence relation. How the recurrence relation is constructed? Let T of n denote the worst case running time of Mercer on an array of length n. As we have already uh, mentioned that there are n elements in a in an array then what will be the total time of n element t of n mean total time of n elements then uh, we have to find the total time of any n element uh, which the processor consumes during sorting uh, process if we call merge sort with an array containing a single atom n is equal to 1 then the running time is constant. You can see this thing uh, from uh, here at much sort. If the value in an array is 1, then P will be 1, that is initial is index 1, R is 1, and A will uh, get the value, uh, uh, value, <coughs> uh, single value. There will be single value in array, not the 8 element uh, value because t is 1, r is 1. If 1 is less than uh, uh, 1, t is less than r, no, because 1 and 1. 1 is not less than 1. So, computer will not execute this, uh, this line of course for from line number 2 to 8. Instead, it will uh, skip these lines. At this uh, stage, of merge sort algorithm. Computer has assigned the value to this variable, it has assigned the value P, also assigned the value R, and then it compared these values P and R. Let's suppose reaching at this location at statement number 1 from here after assigning the value, let's suppose the computer consumes a constant time. And we denote this constant time with unit time. That is, if our unit is second, it it will take one second from assigning value to this variable and also testing this test condition. And if unit is millisecond, then it will uh, take one millisecond. That is unit time in one, and this one may be one second, one millisecond, one microsecond. And if there are more than one element, then let's suppose eight element, then P will be one, R will be eight, and uh, one less than eight, yes, it will uh, it will move forward and execute the line number two, three, four, five, and six, all other lines. So, if there is a single element in an array, it will return back from this stage, and if there are more than one element, it will go onward and process the merge sort again and again and also the merging process. So, in the recursion, recurrence relation, from here we were discussing here, if uh, we call merge sort with an array containing a single element n is equal to 1, then p will be 1, r will be 1 and it will return from the first line of a merge sort algorithm and it will take unit time we just write t of n is equal to 1 that is total time of an array which contains a single element its uh, running time will be 1 ignoring all constants if n is greater than 1 that is there are more than one element in s in an array and in, as in our case there are eight elements then merge sort splits it into two halves that is four in one and four in second and then merge sort call it again and convert it into 2-2 uh, and then call it again and convert it into 1-1. One, one. Sort the two and then merge them together. The left half is of size n over 2 and the right half is also of size n over 2. There are 8 elements, 8 divided by 2, 4. 4 on the left side, 8 divided by 2, 4. 4 on the right side. To separate, how long does it take to sort element in subarray of size n over 2? and then 
other half that is t of n over 2. Now, because total elements were 8 and we have to find the running time t of n that is t of 8 element time, time of 8 elements. But after dividing it into two parts, two subarray becomes of t of 4 and t of 4. So, we have to find the value, uh, we have to find the uh, running time of 2 sub array of 4 4 elements. So, T of n divided by 2, 8 divided by 2 is equal to 4. T of 4, we, we will find T of 4 of the first half and then we will find T of 4 of the second half. Our reconciliation will become like this. In conclusion, we have that if there is one element in an array, we have discussed it in detail. If there is one element in an array, then the computer will uh, return back from the first line of merge sort algorithm and it will take unit time that is 1. And if there are more than one element, as in our case there are 8 elements, then it will behave like this. That is, it will divide 4 elements in uh, one subarray and 4 elements in second subarray. So, these 4 elements will take uh, its own time. And this four element will take its own time for sorting because these two subarray are unsorted. So when these four element will uh, return back its running time, and these four element will return its running time, we will add them this 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 time. And during splitting them into two subarray, the computer took n l n. Uh, n second or n microsecond time, we add this partial time to this one. These uh, two subarray of 4 4 elements have been subdiv uh, subdivided. They will take time. Uh, the, they will take their own running time. But at this stage, at reaching or splitting the, the array into two subarray, computer has been consumed some time and it is n. And we have analyzed this time here in the case of March here. Here we have been analyzed and in detail we have analyzed it here. In the case of merging, uh, at this slide you can see total time of merging is theta of n. And so this is the reconciliation. This is the reconciliation that if an array has only single element, then it will take unit time. And if it has more than one element, that is 8 element, 10 element, 20 element, then uh, it will behave like this that it will be divided into two subarray, and do, uh, these, those two subarray will take their own time. And at this stage, it has been consumed some time, and it is n. This is called reconciliation. That is a recursively defined function. This is a function which is de defined recursively. Then this uh, four element array will again call merge sort, and this four element array, uh, 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 array will again call merge sort and will try to uh, calculate its running time. Here we analyze it. Anal analyze the merge sort. Let let us expand the term uh, of reconciliation, that is second term. This is our base value t of 1 is equal to 1. If n is equal to 1, if n is equal to 1, we will put here 1, t of 1 will become at this length, 1. The value of t of n will become 1. So, we are taking here t of 1 is equal to 1, that is for unit time, uh, unit element, the time will be constant, unit time. And t of 1 is equal to 1. For t of 2, computer will divide t of 1 and t of 1. Two subarray will be divided. The two element array will be divided into one, one one element array. And this one one element array will take its own time. And we will add the value n. Here n is equal to 2 plus n as we have seen here. So, if elements n is 2, 2 divided by 2 is equal to 1, t of 1 plus 2 divided by 2 is equal to 1 t of 1 and plus 
the value of n is equal to 2, we will add here 2. So, you may see it here. But the t of 1, here you may see t of n is equal to 1, we will put it, uh, its value here 1 and t of 1 is equal to 1, we will also put here 1 and plus this 2, this 2, we add and the total sum will become 4. Here t of 3, if there are 3 elements in an array, what will be the running time of those 3 elements, what will be the sorting time of those 3 elements, it will be divided into 2 and 1 element array, seal and flow function will work and 2 sub array. 2 element array and 1 element array and the value of n is 3 so plus 3 will be added because recurrence relation is adding n here n is equal to 3 so 3 will be added here. T of 2 what is we have been calculated for 2 atom the total time become 4 so we will put it uh, put here 4 and we will put here 1 T of 1 is equal to 1 4 plus 1 plus this 3 4 plus 1 plus 3 is equal to 8 it become 8 when n is equal to 4, what the recurrence relation will do? It will divide the 4 element array into 2 2 element array, T of 2 and T of 2. 2 2 element array will again take its own time and we will add this n value with the recurrence uh, results. So, T of 2, what is the value of T of 2? We have already calculated T of 2, 2 atom takes 4 uh, second and uh, these two atom will also take 4 second, 4 plus 4 plus this value of n is also 4, it becomes, sorry, uh, 4 plus 4 plus 4, uh, it has become 12, there is 4 and there is 4 and there is 4, not 8, eight, eight. it is uh, error here, uh, the mistake, uh, we will put here 4, is here we will put 4. 4 plus 4 is uh, plus 4 is equal to 12. It, be, it will become 12. If there are n 5 elements in an array, then how computer is sort? It will use the floor and seal function. 5 will be divided into 3 uh, element array and 2 element array. 3 element array will take its own time. 2 element array will take own time. The value of n is 5. So, we will add the value n with this request that is 5 will be added with this one. T of 3, the running time of T of 3 is 8 and the running time of T of 2 element is 4. Uh, 8 plus 4, 8 plus 4 and this value of 5 will be added, the sum will become 17. We skip some values and we take uh, this, let the value, uh, 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 there are 8 elements in array, then what will be the uh, sorting time of that 8 element array t of 8 is equal to t of 4 plus t of 2 4 4 4 element array and plus 8 we will add 8 t of 4 what is the running time of t of 4 12 12 plus here we will put 12 and then we will add 8 12 plus 12 is plus 8 is equal to 32 we will we will skip some other value 9 8 9 10 11 12 and we will take t of 16 T of 16, when we, the recurrence relation we subdivide it, it will become T of 8 plus T of 8 plus the value of n that is 16 as we have seen in this recurrence relation. We add, we divide the array, n element array into two sub array and also plus add the n value with this result. This n is added here. So, here we add this n, n is 16, we will add 16, n is 8, we will add 8. T of 8, 8 element array, 8 element array and 16. What is the result of 8 element array? The result of 8 element array is 32. This 8 element array will, uh, the result uh, uh, is 32. 32 plus 32 plus 16 is equal to 80. We skip some values and we take that there are 32 element in an array and we are passing this array to mass sort algorithm. Then mass sort will divide. 32 element into 16, 16 uh, elements sub array. So, time of 16 element and time of 16 element plus the value of n will be added with the reference. So, 32 will be added. 
TF16, the value of TF16 we have already calculated is 80. 80 plus 80 plus 32, it becomes 192. This was actually that how many items we will send to Marsa, then how much time it will take. If we uh, send 8 elements, it will take let's go 32 seconds or 32 microseconds. If we send it 16 elements, it will take 8, 8 microseconds. Uh, if we send 32 element, it will take 192 microseconds. If we send n elements, that is any number of elements, then how much time it will take? We calculate here. What is the pattern here? Let us consider the ratio T of n divided by n. We have calculated all T of n in the previous slide and we will divide it at n. The T of n values are here. That's what n is 1, t of 1 value is 1, t of 2 value is 4, t of 3 value is 8, t of 4 value is 12. We will take, let's first, we, we take this one, t of 4 is 12. We will take t of 4 divided by 4, 12 divided by 4. And what is the result? That is 12, t of 4, its result is 12, 12 divided by 4, it becomes 3. So, we take all the t values and we will divide it at n. We will divide, we will follow this relation t of n divided by n. If n is 4, t of 4 divided by 4. If n is 8, t of 8 divided by 8. This situation, if t of uh, n is 16, t of 16 divided by 16. This situation, if n is 32, t of 32 divided by 32. This situation. T of 32, T of 16, T of 8, this time we have been calculated uh, in our previous slide that T of 1, 1, T of 2, 4, T of 4, 12, T of 8, 32, T of 16, 80, T of 32, 192, we will take and we will use it here. So, uh, we actually we are taking all those time from previous slide which are in the power of 2. If n is equal to 1, it is in the power 2. 1 can be written. 1 is equal to 2 is power 0. 2, if n is 2, 2 can be written in the power of 2. 2 can be written. 2 is equal to 2 is power 1. 4 can be written. 4 is equal to 2 is power 2. 8 can be written into 2 power. Uh, that 2 is power 3. 8 is equal to 2 is power 3. 16 is equal to 2 power. So, we are collecting all those t times from this slides which are in uh, where the n is in, in the power of 2. Here this is n. This one is in the power of 2 because 1 can be written in the power of 2. 1 is equal to 2 is power 0. 2 is equal to 2 is power 1. 4 is equal to 2 is power 2. 8 is equal to 4. This value we will take here. So we have taken this t of 1 divided by 1. We will follow this relation t of 1, n is 1, divided by 1, t of 1 is equal to 1, 1 divided by 1 equal to 1, t of 2 divided by 2, the value of t of 2 in the previous slide is 4, 4 divided by 2 equal to 2, t of 4 divided by 4, uh, the value of t of 4 is 8, 8, and sorry 12, 12 divided by 4, it will become 3, and t of 8 divided by 8, the value of t of 8 is 32, 38, 32 divided by 8 is equal to 4, T of 16 divided by 16, the value of T of 16 is 80. In previous slide, you may see uh, here T of 16 is equal to 80. 80 divided by the n is 16. 80 divided by 16, it will become uh, 80 divided by 16 by 5. T of 32, the value of T of 32 is 192. 192 divided by 32, it will become 6. This is the pattern. Then the Marsart algorithm suggests this suggests that t of n divided by n. This ratio, the nth ratio will become log of n plus 1, log of n plus 1. We verify it. Log of n plus 1. t of n divided by n will become log of n plus 1. Let's suppose t of 16 divided by 16 is equal to 5. We find here if n is 16. We put here 16, here 16. It will become t of 16 divided by 16. If 
left side by putting n is equal to 16 it becomes this one then by putting n is equal to 16 here it should become 5 we see in next slide here we are actually examining this thing if we got that is t of by putting n is equal to 16 here and n is equal to 16 here and n is equal to 16 here if we got left side t is 16 divided by c then and also right uh, side here we five we get five five then this uh, result will become true all other will become result will become true then the nth term will also be correct we see here if n is equal to 16 we write here 16 and here 16 t of 16 divided by 16 here it will become this one and here uh, n is equal to 16 t of 16 divided by uh, base 2 plus 1 it will become this one and 16 may be written 2 is power 4 log of 2 is power 4 base 2 plus 1 and this 4 uh, we will apply the log rule 4 will become uh, in the beginning of this log 4 log of 2 base 2 plus 1 and log of 2 base 2 is equal to 1 every element whose log and base will are same its value become 1 so log of 2 base 2 will become 1 it will become 1 4 into 1 it will be become 4 plus 1 this one it will become 4 plus 1 is equal to 5 t of 16 divided by 16 by using this equation we have got the value of 5 why by previous uh, calculation we have also find the value of t 16 divided by 16 is equal to 5 it means for n is equal to 16 this result has become correct. So, this nth value t of n divided by n is equal to log of n plus 1 for any element of n, this relation will be true. Now, here you may see, you may see that in equation 1, if equation 1 is true for n is equal to 16, then it will be true for all values of n, hence the nth term t of n divided by n is equal to log of n base 2 plus 1 is correct that is this thing is correct t of n divided by n n is dividing here at t of n if something is dividing at one side of equation it will be multiplied to other side so we can write that n is divided at this side it will be multiplied to this side with whole bracket in the bracket there are two terms log n base 2 plus 1 n will multiply with log and n will also multiply with 1 so here n log n base 2 it will become n, n log n base 2 and then it will multiply with n it will the second term will become n t of n become n log n base 2 plus 1 this n has transferred to this side and from this side it was uh, divided at the at t of n and uh, here from the right side uh, it has uh, n has been multiplied with the bracket with these two terms the total uh, running time of mars rd t of n is equal to n log n base 2 this term is called dominated term so here we see in this algorithm that is this nh ratio is true t of n is equal to n log n plus n we have got this one and we are only taking this uh, dominated term heat of n log n this is the asymptotic running time of MRSA. Uh, this was the end of our lecture. Allah Hafiz.